Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage. Welcome back to episode 24 of Europa Universalis for as Muscovy, now Russia. And uh, before I start, I'd like to say a very big thank you to my Patreon supporter, William Luke, for sponsoring this video with his generous donation. I really do appreciate it, and it goes a long way to help keep the channel going. So we're in this awful mess with the Ottomans, a war which I'm really beginning to regret starting. Uh, just having a quick look though, the Ottomans are literally out of manpower. They've got 310 manpower left and they're literally running on mercenaries. Now, we are running out of money. We are taking on a lot of debt. But I think what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to radically go over that, get ourselves a lot of mercenaries. We're going to have to very quickly rebuild and come down and just give the Ottomans a good kicking. Um, it's going to be a little bit fiddly. Uh, not even that bothered about getting some cavalry, but we definitely want to get a few more cannons in. Let's get a couple of art, a uh, couple of um, cavalry. Let's get a couple more. Actually, that's it. We've literally ran out of money. We are going to be going into some massive debt here, um, but we do need to try and defeat the Ottomans where we can. Uh, they've got a fair few armies around. Uh, I will be happy at the moment if we can just get out of the war. I'm not even necessarily all that concerned about... Um, do you know what? This big stack, let's just go and group it up and let's just go ahead and do a consolidate. Because then we won't be massively over our um, force limit and we shouldn't lose too much money. Uh, I'm also moving down here with these guys to try and get rid of these rebellions. I'm not too sure how well that is going to work. Uh, we will try and jump on some of these little Ottoman stacks if we can. I'm not terribly convinced that we're going to be able to get any of them. Um, I'm not too sure where these guys are all heading either. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can get this mercenary company together. Now, it does look like we are about to catch you out there. Let's just go in with this guy in case you decide you're going to come back in here and try... No, you didn't try and reinforce. We've actually somehow now got Tunisia over here as well. So let's go in down here so that we can um, sort of provide backup to this fight if we need to. They've backed off. We've still got the war goal. So we're literally just going to be throwing our numbers in now. They are coming over here. Are they actually coming in to deal with me? Are they trying to? They may do. I'm going to wait and see where they go. They might, Yeah, they're actually going to fight my rebels for me. Cheers, Ottomans. <laughs> nice. So we've won that battle there. Let's leave the small stack sieging. Let's take the big stack over here and see if we can't jump on the uh, on the Ottomans. This is our mercenary company. Let's go ahead and mix them with this guy, these guys here. We're going to have some very mixed armies for a while, and it's going to take us a little bit of time to sort them out. But uh, never mind. We'll we'll get it done. But at the moment, we just really need to try and crush them. Do we have a, our best general in charge of this army? Uh, probably not, but we don't have a lot of other good options. Now, where are you heading is the important question. Um, yeah, so let's get all these guys together. And then we'll come down here and uh, see what we can do. Yeah, you're fighting my rebels for me. Which is fantastic. Um, you're actually splitting up a little bit. I'm going to back off with this army because I don't want to. Um, I don't want too many issues going on. Let's just do a quick consolidate there as well. Uh, we will give you this guy slightly better. Now the Ottomans have got a lot of big armies over here, so I'm a little bit concerned about running into them. Um, I think you can actually back off. Right, let's go into the adjacent province. You go down there and unsiege that. Now, I'm chasing these guys down. They may be trying to retreat into their own territory. We've got a couple of big stacks down here. I want to try and sort of um, split them up if I can. That's why I'm, I'm sort of chasing them down. Not terribly convinced that I can catch them, but this is what we're sort of going for here. We need to get some, some wins. Meanwhile, you guys just continue to try and take that. We do have the war goal, so we are we are making uh, gains at the moment. And it's going to take a long time to get rid of all of the debt. Right, looks like we are... We've got some... Oh, you're going after those guys as well. Excellent. Right, looks like we might actually catch this big army out. Which would be fantastic if we do. 
Again, they're absolutely uh, murdering us here, but we did win that battle. They've got some tiny little stacks trying to come in from the other side. So let's go and run them down. Meanwhile, I don't think they've really got anything over here. They're dropping... Oh, you've got, you, uh, you're the army that's retreating. That's fine. So you keep retreating. And uh, looks like we are about to engage this army. Let's go ahead and consolidate those uh, that army again. I'm just trying to make sure that we have as uh, strong a fighting forces as we can. And we just need to keep winning these battles now. You guys get over there and take that back. Excellent. Didn't get a stack wipe, but it was uh, it was a good ba battle nonetheless. So these uh, these are rather big stacks. We're going to have to keep bringing them back. We've renewed a loan, which is not unexpected. Now then, uh, they do have a very large um, army over there. And it is going to take some time for our units to get back. That, wherever that was, was annoying. Um, let's move over here with you. And you can go and deal with that one. I'm just a little bit concerned about this army here with that large stack around. I'm trying to get back as quickly as I can. So we can go and reinforce if we need to. They are working on one of my forts, which is very annoying. Just annoying separatists all over the place. You guys have taken that back, right? So get back over here. Uh, I intend to try and get out of this war. Right, they will actually accept a white piece right now. In fact, they will even give me the uh, the war goal. And actually give me a couple of provinces. Which is nice. Yeah, let's go and take that then. There we go. We are no longer at war with the Ottomans and we've just reset the truce timer. Fantastic. So what we need to do now is sort these armies out. So we're not getting massive amounts of attrition. Uh, we've got some more cores that we need to do. We've got a lot of debt that we need to pay off. And we're still getting a lot of... Um, a lot of rebels. So let's go ahead and deal with all of those. Nasty, nasty stuff. Uh, we'll wait there. You can take that and recover. In fact, you guys go down there. You'll probably be better at this. Right, okay. So we're no longer at war with the Ottomans. We've still got some manpower left. We're massively in debt. Renewed another loan. Separatists everywhere. Right. Chase these guys down. Now, we'll probably be keeping mostly the Streltsy. Right, you, can, you can come back now. We'll probably be keeping most mostly the Streltsy and getting rid of mercenaries. Right, you can move back over there. So you've got a lot of mercs in that army. But we'll leave you there for now. Let's uh, consolidate you all up. That's a very costly army with the mercs, but we'll wait until that, uh, that fort falls. So you guys there, you guys are a complete Streltsy army. So... Fine. You can go and hang around over here. You guys are far too large. Let's go ahead and consolidate you up. Let's go ahead and pick off anything that isn't Streltsy. Which is quite a lot, actually. Oh, that started clicking. Ah! Ah! Right, okay, let's try that again and not make a complete mess of it this time. So. It's usually safer to go from the bottom. Right, there we go. So, we've got this unit, which is a nine stack. Not many of you guys left. But you guys go over here and maybe we, we make two smaller stacks of Streltsy over there. Uh, we haven't taken that back yet. This is still a stack that is too big. So let's go ahead and split it in half. 14, 3 and 3. Could do with an extra cavalry in each one, I suppose. 
Right, so let's group you up and split you in half. You are purely just two 20 infantry stacks. That's fine. So let's get you... Let's give you another cav and another infantry. Let's do the same on you. We're out of money again. Uh, we'll get rid of this mercenary company as soon as that fort falls. Uh, let's go ahead and... Yeah, we're losing a lot of money at the moment. Let's put the army maintenance down. Are we over our force limit? No, we are not. Uh, well, we don't want the unrest. Let's go ahead and move this stack up there, and then we'll disband the mercenaries. That should deal with that problem for us. Okay, so we are we are getting there. That that took a little while longer than I expected to, but we are now. We've taken some land from the Ottomans. And, um, you know, it sort, of, it sort of renews the the truce timer. Um, the Teutonic Order, I believe, are... Right, okay, here we go. So let's go ahead and select this stack. Let's detach the mercenaries and disband them all. Let's group you together. Split you in half. Move half of you down here. So, you're a couple of infantry short. You're a cavalry short. So, we'll get you an extra cav. Yeah, we'll get you some extra infantry shortly. So, it's going to take a little bit of, bit of time to build these uh, army stacks back up. But I think we will be okay. Uh, let's go ahead and make sure we've got at least one stack over here near the Teutonic Order. So, they are in a relatively hefty alliance. Uh, how are things with Sweden now? Did Sweden actually gain their independence? They did. They are allied with France. But we should certainly think about building a spy network on them. So we could start trying to take some stuff. Uh, let's make sure that we don't have any forts active that we don't need to. That'll save us a little bit of money. We are starting to make money once again. Slowly, yes, but we are doing it. Can't do any more colonizing over here just yet. Uh, Kazan, we will have to finish off at some point. When is our truce up with you? Looks like our truce with Kazan is already done. Uh, we've lost a general, which is also unfortunate. Uh, so you should be up to 14. You should also be up to 14. There we go. So we might finish off Kazan, actually. Oh, wow, all of my generals are just dropping dead right now. Uh, we can convert another province. Let's go ahead and do that. Can we afford to put up our army maintenance now? Not if we want to make money. Uh, we've got great horde separatists that are about to fire, though, so I'm going to put the army maintenance up just so we can deal with that. But yeah, we might have to deal with Kazan first. The Teutonic Order is going to be a little bit more problematic now that they've got this large ally uh, alliance network. But that's fine. We'll take our opportunities where we get them. Now, if we, if we attack Kazan now, it'll almost certainly annoy the, uh, the Ottomans. But the Ottomans have just had a renewed truce. So let's go ahead and put you guys in there. I'm not going to get a new army leader right away. Let's go and get you as well. I don't think they've got any of their own troops left, honestly, so... Let's get you... Well, we're going to have to deal with the uh, the rebels there anyway. Now then, we should actually have a... Um... Yeah, we've got CBs here. So let's go ahead and jump straight in. I've got no worries about these guys whatsoever, really. Uh, you guys are short of a cannon. You guys are fine. Um, you're just staying there on Rebel Watch, which is okay. Right, what have we got here? Tolerance of Heretics. Oh, well, I don't want the National Unrest for 10 years. Ah, uh, Chernigov's opinion of me can drop. That's fine. Um, so yeah, Tolerance of Heretics, or do we wait? I mean, we're getting a massive tech. Uh, we can embrace this, actually, if we had the money. 
we had like two I think we need to do it we're gonna be taking a lot more um, debt here but it should be worth it in the long run money money we can make back um, so we need to embrace the institution and then that'll make our technologies uh, a lot cheaper. So yeah, we are losing money. We'll take as much money as we can from Kazan when we wipe them out. But yeah, we're going to have to start start attacking people for money. You are supposed to be in there, and you are supposed to be in there. I don't know why you, you weren't, but fine. Must keep our eye on those rebels. 90% on Great Horde Separatists. I think we can deal with them relatively easily. Got a fort over there to take. That's not a problem. We will have to fight those um, rebels. So let's go in and do that right now. We could always break off some little stacks, but I don't think we need to. These are all battles that we should win nice and easily. So if we just take a single soldier from this unit, we can go and siege that out. We can take a single soldier from this unit. Actually, we probably need two because we've taken some attrition. You can go and siege this out. Already on 0% here. So we should be able to take everything they've got left and take a fair bit of money from them as well. We're losing quite a lot right now. Some of that is caused by interest. Oh, you guys got that a lot quicker than I expected you to. Which is fantastic. That's done. So you move back over there. As soon as we've got that one, we'll move these guys out so we're not taking attrition. And we won't have to pay as much for it. Excellent. You can move back in here. 21% chance of taking their capital. Still haven't had those great horde separatists pop yet. Right, let's go and finish you off and take your last province. You move down there to join them because you are part of that army. There we go. So they've got no troops left. We've already got 89% war score. We are going to take that last province. And it should all work out quite nicely for us. Obviously we will get some more aggressive expansion, but that's generally fine. And then we'll try and deal with getting some money back. Try and make, make some coinage. Um... Gazi Kamuk, how much money do you have? If we look at country. Just trying to find people that I can pick on to take a lot of money. Yeah, you've got no money at all. Who's got a lot of money that we could uh, potentially take? Um, Hamburg. Hamburg have got well over a thousand ducats. Lubeck. Corsica. Tuscany. Hmm. Not anybody that we can really easily reach. That's the problem. Oh well, we do what we can. It's only a bit of debt. So Crimea are now a single province. Should have forced my religion on them. Actually, that would have made it easy to uh, to take them over. Oh Lord, you look at that. We have more rebels. Uh, luckily, they're going to be nice and easy to deal with. Even without a leader. So let's go in there and deal with them. Fortunately we do have a river crossing penalty. But uh, local unrest. But cheaper call conversion cost. Nah. Not that bothered. Right we'll finish that fight. And that is done. Yeah we're just working on this one now. I believe that province is owned by Kazan. Yes, it is. Good. And then we could, we've could we got Uzbek that we can attack, and we've got Kazakh that we can attack, and we can get in here into um, Sabir. Kazakh have a random province up here for God only knows what reason. But yeah, we need to recover. We need to... Not so much manpower, that's not our problem, but we do have a fair bit of corruption uh, that is going down. Uh, once we get rid of that corruption, it'll save us a fair bit of money as well. Which is very good. Uh, we can put our army maintenance down there, actually.
Although we are at war, but we don't actually have anything to fight off, so... We start paying off some of these loans, we can start making some money back. Do we want to reduce our infl- We do actually have an inflation reduction guy, so I'm tempted to just leave him to carry on doing that. Uh, we could raise war taxes. Let's go ahead and raise war taxes, it'll save us some money. Uh, another conversion done. And then the religion instantly changes back to Protestant. There we go. So we now have a 100% war score against what was formerly Kazakh. So let's go and sue for peace. We want to take everything. I'm assuming we can. Yep, we've got enough war score. And they only have 39 ducats, which is really, really disappointing. But Kazakh is now wiped out. Um, they've got a couple of forts here, which I'm going to say... Well, we probably don't need this one. We'll keep this one around, but we will turn it off. We do have to call them, but luckily it's not too expensive. Um, so how how does that leave us with our mission? Loose ducats that we don't have. Um, what did I come over here to look at? Oh, it was the mission. That was it. So how many ones? Uh, Tayamen and Kurgan. Which are basically these two. If we had these two provinces. It just gives us tolerance of the true faith for a few years. Do you know what? I'm not even bothered about that. Let's get a new mission. We will we, Obviously we will end up taking that land. The main reason I took that mission was to get the CBs. So we're making a stupidly small, almost non-existent amount of money. Trying to bring in some trade. Um, can we get you to transfer your trade power to us? Some truces en uh, ending. But we can't get you to transfer your trade power. No. Oh well, we'll just have to wait on. Some more separatists that might fire. Yeah, the, the debt is going to be a bit of a killer, but we will get out of it. We might just have to keep keep doing some wars. Uh, we're, we're about to finish a couple of colonies as well. Right, that's now up to 90%. And as much as I would love to keep my maintenance down, uh, I think we're going to need to uh, bump it back up again. That's a lot of money to be losing um, each month. But before anything else happens, I'm going to pause the game there and end the video. I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope you are still enjoying EU4. Once again, a very big thank you to my Patreon supporter, William Luke, for sponsoring this video with his generous donation. I really do appreciate that. And I will see all you guys on the next video. Until then, goodbye for now.